Hey, crypto family, hope y'all are doing good wherever you're at. So it's an exciting day for ETH today. It broke over $2,000. And we're gonna cover exactly why it did and why the market's been doing really well the past couple of days. Then we're gonna cover um, some coins that I've picked in my Discord group and Twitter that have been doing very, very well. And then finally, we're gonna cover Mango Market Cap's initial cap offering and how it relates to Unisock, which is actually trading at $100,000 per sock. And then finally, some BTC ETH technical analysis. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So ETH broke over 2,000, it's trading at 2116 now. It was consolidating for a couple weeks. A lot of people were getting depressed. Uh, they wanted it to move. And finally, Mark Cuban had a podcast the other day and he said Ethereum is the closest thing to crypto, uh, closest crypto we have to a true currency. Uh, so that was huge. Uh, he talked about how he has 60% of his portfolio in Bitcoin. He has 30% in Ethereum and then 10% for the rest. Now he still thinks Bitcoin is a uh, stable alternative to gold. He thinks it's a very good store of value, but he believes that Ethereum is adaptable over time due to the amount of open development happening on the chain. So again, he's very bullish on Ethereum. He even said that, and he has a large holding in Ethereum. So that's why a lot of people started flocking to Ethereum and actually helped push that price over 2000 and hopefully to 3000 over the next couple of weeks. But with that, next article we're going to talk about is Coinbase. So Coinbase, they announced that they're going to be releasing an, their IPO on the NASDAQ. And for those who haven't heard of this, this is very, very bullish. Because basically what's going to happen is they talked to the SEC and they proposed public direct listing of its Class A common stock. And that was declared effective by the SEC on April 1st. And it's going to be under the ticker symbol coin on April 14, 2021, trading on the NASDAQ. So you got to think all those people that trade on the stock exchange, um, you know, multi-trillion dollar exchanges and for coin to be listed on there, um, that's just going to expose it even more to all of that capital. So you got to kind of think the ramifications of this and how this is just going to propel cryptocurrency even higher than it is now. So we're really in that hyperbolic curve right now and i think this will help adoption speed up adoption and speed up the awareness so definitely good for that um but next let's go over um some of my coin picks that i had actually so if you look here you can see um that four hours ago i tweeted i said our discord group has been popping lately a few of our gems we picked up with proof and basically i talked about nerve finance nrv mentioned it march 19th when it was at 50 cents here and then you can see today is at $1.98 up 54%. So 4X from there, easy 4X over two weeks. Also, I talked about KPAD. I said just bought some KPAD at 292. And then you can look, it's at 453, up 33%. And that's literally in two days. And then scroll down, you can see also mentioned a couple other coins that have been doing really well. Um, basically, all of these coins listed here, uh, we have you know, double digits and triple digits gains for those. So again, a lot of good coins in our Discord group doing good. Uh, if you want to join it, go ahead and message me on Twitter or on Discord. I'll be happy to uh, set you up with that. And then next, let's talk about Mango Market's initial cap offering. So for those who don't know what this cap offering was or have never heard of Mango Markets, um, they're actually a DEX exchange that's uh, one of the first DEX exchanges with leverage trading, and they also pay interest on deposits that you have in there. So it's 13,000 followers, um, and they're on, they're on the Solana network, and they've been doing very well. They've been growing super fast. Um, they released this initial cap offering, which is kind of like a way, you know, for like merchandise and stuff, and you can actually obtain these caps um, for this token. This token released at $15, and it was on a bonding curve, which means each time you buy it, it goes up in price and there's only 500 available. So you can see that accelerated very quickly. Um, this relates to Unisox and that Unisox, same thing happened. They released, you know, on the Uniswap platform, they released this and this is now trading at $106,000. There's 315 available and only 13 right now on the market. So that's insane pricing. Mango market caps are at $3,120. So still a lot of upside for this. Again, not financial advice or not investment advice, but um, definitely think that we could see a large uptick, especially as Mango Markets continues to improve and continues to develop and improve their decks. So now let's go ahead and talk about some BTC and ETH technical analysis. So looking at a 12 hour chart here, the Wells buy sell gave a buy signal here, would have got you in at approximately 54,900 and continued on this trend line here. Now, this trend line you can see, I actually drew it from the daily chart. So if we go ahead and zoom out here, uh, we can see that the daily chart had this trend line and bounced off of it, bounced off of it. 
Now it's closed under it. Now it's really trying to break above and it's having a hard time. So you can see as Ethereum's been moving, Bitcoin's kind of been stagnant right now. Now it's gonna be some heavy resistance here soon. That's gonna be at that 60,500 level. If we can break that, then it's off to the races. Um, we did cross over on the MACD to the upside. So again, if we can maintain this trajectory, then definitely can see us breaking this and going higher. Uh, but the only thing is on the price extractor indicator here, we do have a sell that may be flashing. Last time this happened, uh, we dropped from, I believe it was uh, 57,800 down to 55,000. So about $3,000. But, um, you know, we could still break through because a lot of good bullish news has been happening. So we'll have to see what happens with that. But that's the current level I'm looking at. Uh, looking for a pullback, then, you know, good place to buy is at 58,100. And then uh, 56,500. So two good buy levels there. But again, it is riding this trend line. So not bearish, uh, still bullish um, until this becomes invalidated and we break down through support again. Next, <clears throat> looking at Ethereum. So you can see here, Wells buy sell indicator popped a buy. Would have got you in at 1690. And then from there, we have skyrocketed. Now, the MACD on the 12 hour also crossed to the upside, further confirming that buy. Um, but right now we do have two red dots, one on the price extractor and one on the volume extractor. So, uh, very easily could, you know, retest this support here at $2,024. Uh, I drew this trend line here. So if we break this, then, you know, looking at this next support, pretty strong support at 1930. So potentially some good buy levels for here. Um, if we do break down below 2000 again, but you know, ETH is very, very bullish right now. And you can even see we broke this previous uh, this recent all-time high, um, and it's been doing really well now. So, a lot of good, uh, a lot of good traction. And again, with that Mark Cuban article, um, a lot of good talk about it, and I'm sure it'll only get better. So, hopefully, ETH 2.0 comes out soon because I know the gas fees on Uniswap are killing everyone. It's 60 to 100 dollars. So, really, if you're trading with less than 500, it's not even worth it. Um, but uh, yeah, the sooner ETH comes out with that, again, the sooner that's going to even accelerate the price higher. Um, and then, you know, help more people to buy and hold and use it. So, but with that, uh, if y'all have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Again, you can contact me on Twitter up there or on Discord. I'll be happy to answer either of those. Um, but again, till next time, thanks for watching.